Okay, I think this plugs into this. Thanks so much for having me on your podcast. It's really time the world heard us talk to each other. I couldn't agree more. Now, just one little housekeeping thing. Don't say anything that you wouldn't want anyone that you know or can imagine ever knowing hearing. It's like an unwritten rule of the universe. No matter how badly your podcast is doing, the one person you don't want to listen will listen. Are you sure? My dad is so bad with tech, he once asked me, how do I go to a website? I thought there's no way he'd figure out how to listen to the pod. But of course, he hears the one episode where I talk about being open to naked comedy. My mom said that his head turned so red she thought it was gonna explode. Okay. Yeah, it's totally simple. Just tell stories that aren't about anyone but you, that you'd be fully comfortable with anyone you could ever think of listening to, that are still specific enough to be fun and entertaining. This is a lot to take in. Sweet, okay. Uh, everything's ready to go then, and I will hit record. Recording. Welcome to Women Hero Sandwich, where I interview the most inspiring women who are available. Today, I'm talking to my friend, Marissa Stewart. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. So, how's your day so far? Fine. Our other roommate, Sarah Smith Harris, bought the wrong type of cat food, and my cat's been really avoidant lately, and just, wait, I just don't, oh my god, don't put that in there. Oh no, totally, I'll edit it out. I'm just really afraid that Sarah will listen. Not my cat. Totally, no problem. So, any big projects coming up? Yeah, I'm in this new play that's like New York through the eyes of a city bike. Wow, both challenging and corporate. Yeah, rehearsals are going great. Except for this one actor, Jared Fisher. He thinks he's hot shit just because he has the same manager as Kelsey Marks and she's only had two episodes on a CW show. He never memorizes his lines. And then he had the gall to give me notes on my character. It's like, you're not the director, you do you and only you. Wait, oh my God, can we edit that I'll out? I'll totally edit that out, gone. Um, so like, uh. That's a nice necklace that you have on. Thanks. I actually got it in the hospital gift shop. My uncle, Jack Stano, ripped his urethra from a kidney stone. He's actually gonna sue the doctor, Jack Marshall. He didn't sew it as aesthetically pleasing as all of his friends in Ship Hill, Tennessee YMCA locker room. I'll edit that out. Okay, well, we're at time. Uh, I, I feel like we just started. Well, the thing is you were 20 minutes late and then it took me 20 minutes more to set this up and my neighbor's car alarm goes off at this time every day, so like I kind of need to stop it right now. Do you think we have enough for the episode? Oh yeah, definitely. Today, I'm talking to my friend, Marissa Stewart. Yeah, I'm in this new play that's like New York through the eyes of a city bike. Wow, both challenging and corporate. Yeah, rehearsals are going great. That's a nice necklace that you have on. I actually got it in the hospital gift shop. Thanks for listening, and remember to subscribe on iTunes, like on Facebook, and tell HelloFresh to respond to my sponsorship calls. I thought you said you'd take out the part about the hospital gift shop necklace. That's the part you wanted me to take out?